So that's my recipe for my Ayurvedic oils. Uh, just a few tips and tricks as we kind of wrap up here. I've cleaned up the kitchen. My oil is still cooling on my counter. Um, you don't need to see me pour it into a jar and let it sit for three weeks. But I will come back with a video that sees how that checks in on how my progress has been with the oil. Because again, my effort is and my attempt is to try to make a creamy uh, butter with this so that I can then use it uh, in my hair, just like I do my regular Ayurvedic oil. The only difference between my old one, and I'll have that in the next video, versus the new one we've made today, is that the earlier version is strictly a liquid version because I only used liquid oil, that is, um, grapeseed oil and uh, olive oil. And didn't use any other kind of oils other than the OptiFan, and I'll talk about that later. But um, what I want to do as we wrap up is talk about some of the things that we'll need as we begin to make our own formulations. What's good about making your own formulations? One, you know what's in it. Two, you know it's fresh. You don't have to make vats and vats of this stuff because you're not, unless you're marketing it now, and that's a whole nother level of planning and organization that you have to look out for. So you know it's always fresh, you know what's in it, you know it's good, and you could add other kind of things to it. For example, to the oil that we have, while it's cooling still, I think I'm going to go back and add maybe three capsules, maybe four, of vitamin E oil, or maybe some uh, vitamin C oil. Because I think as we make and think about these things, what's good for the skin is good for the hair. They're made of basically the same thing. A little bit of different cell structure, but hair, nails, and skin, there's a reason why those three things are always together when we see them either in a formulation that helps the body or a pill, biotin, things like that, if you will. Um, but what I wanted to add before I forgot and before I leave everyone today is to talk about some of the tools and things that I use. These little cups are wonderful. They are medicine cups, but what's good about them, they're measured in ounces, they're measured in grams, they're measured in, oh, let me drop it now, let me pay attention now, in drams and milliliters. And remember, when you're doing a formulation, a recipe, if you will, the smaller the form of measurement you use, the more precise your recipe is going to be. Ounces are fine, but there's things smaller than ounces we know in the scientific world. That is drams, that is milliliters, and grams. So in that respect, you also will need a scale that will uh, measure your, your items that you're putting in in grams. So all of my formulations, I've converted to grams. I use grams as just a matter of habit. And I keep a little notebook of some of my failures and successes. Some successes you'll see later this year in 2018 because I'm working on a hair cream. I'm trying to get this Ayurvedic oil thing right. But what I like about these cups, other than the form of measurement, I use them also for something like these. And I know what you guys know what these are. These are the little stretchy things that we use in our hair when we're doing a pullback bun style like I have going on tonight. Um, I like this style versus this style because these were murder on my hair before I figured out what was going on. So what I do with these is that I put these around bands of things that I want to wrap up and close, but I use these cups and a little of my Ayurvedic oil that I put in a bump, uh, in a bottle dispenser. Um, I use it to fill just a wet my hair ties, and I use them, I got several different ones I rotate through and they get too stretched out, I throw them away and buy more. But the point is, is that you need something that's gonna put some slip against your hair rather than pulling your strands out. Remember the goal here is, and I've saying it before, this formulation is not to grow hair, is to keep the few strands you got healthy. And I use this Ayurvedic oil in the form of an oil treatment on my scalp and hair. Um, so I use something like this as a little bottle of, I'm sure it had eye cream or something in it. And I like the pump action of it because it's small. I can refill it and I can keep it handy in the bathroom. And if I drop it, I'm going to break it and have a mess going on. So I, again, use my cup 
fill it full of my, just enough to get it wet, squeeze out what's left, put it on my hair. In fact, I do have one on now. You might be able to see a little bit of it. There's a piece of it sticking out. Um, I use it to do my hair pullbacks. And what I don't use on the tie, I'll use on my elbows. I'll use even on my face if I'm taking off makeup. Um, I'll also will use it on hands. I'll use it on rusty, crusty feet and elbows because we all have them. We just don't show them. And that's the goal. Make it look like you don't have it. Um, but use this in all kinds of ways as you need to use it. I also like um, this kind of cup. Um, and I think this is in ounces and cc's. Uh, but again, precise form of measurement, not your measuring cups. Your measuring cups are not made for scientific applications. Now, some of them do have uh, grams and some of them do have different metric forms of measurement on the sides of them. But when you're doing small dits and bets of things like, you know, Optifin, and I got to talk about this, um, my Optifin is for sanitation. You can't put that in a measuring cup and get the right amount. You have to weigh it. And so in that regard, you need a scale that is going to measure grams. Excuse me, my nose is itching. Um, you have to measure uh, something that's going to be in grams. Grams are much more precise than ounces. And remember, when you use your scale, tear out whatever your weight is of your item that you're you know, measuring on the scale. Um, you don't want this weight to get in the way of what you're actually adding inside it, right? Because it will not be right and your measurements and your recipe will be off. If you need six grams and you need six grams of something, not the weight of the cup, because again, it's gonna throw your measurement off. Um, and in that regard, let me say how much I added of the Optifin because I did go back and add this. One thing about Optifin, and you will learn this as you begin to work with these formulations, you can only add certain things at certain times. There's a time and place for everything. The same thing in a recipe. Your Optifan and your high refined oils like your carrot oil, your COQ10, um, your raspberry oil, uh, your, um, I think I used a half ounce, oh, I dropped the bottle, excuse me, of my baobab, my baobab oil, um, which I used a half ounce of this. Uh, which is 14 grams, because remember an ounce is 28 grams, half of 28 is 14. That's why you need a scale and you can't use something like this because this is too big. You need to measure by weight. Um, that's why you need your scale. Um, but these things become more precise and more valuable to you as you use them in a the proper way. Um, my total amount of oils in this recipe was 100... 60, if I remember. Uh, my baobab oil, after I added that at half an ounce, 60 plus 14 is 174. 174 grams of total oil uh, divided by 10% or 10 gave me 17. Still too much because the rule for Optifin is anywhere from 1% to 3% of every amount of oil that you have total in your recipe. And I um, have to kind of account for that. So I tend to aim over. That is, rather than 3%, I want to make sure I'm not going to kill nobody, kill myself, kill my little hair follicles I got left up here messing around. So I'm going to try to be as precise as possible. So of my 174 total ounces, about 6 grams, or 5 grams rather, if you will, 5 grams, because my cup, these cups measure one gram. So in my scale, it was five grams of Optifan. I added to 174 grams of total oil that I added to the mix just to make sure everybody's sanitary and happy and things are going on. Um, so with that, I will be back with another video after my formulation with the rose hips and with the um, Hibiscus flowers have set a bit for about three weeks. It takes that long, so it can't be in a rush to do this. It's like wine. It takes time. Um, what I will say, though, the reason why I had a mix 
and this is a different formulation in this mix rather, is because I'm using two different kinds of oil, a solid oil and a liquid oil. That is my capacho butter, my mango butter, um, my uh, uh, coconut uh, cocoa butter wafers. All of those are solid at room temperature. And I added a liquid oil, that is my grapeseed and my olive oil, just to soften the hard oils a bit. The goal is to try to whip this into a cream um, in order to just use it in a different kind of formulation, more as a cream base as opposed to something that's liquid. Still will have the same properties, but just a different look and feel and texture. Um, the beeswax pellets will also stand in as not only a stiffer oil, but as an emulsifier to help blend the liquid and the solid oil together. So we'll see how this works out in, two, in three weeks because it is truly an experiment of mine. So again, this is Diamond in the Rough, in the dark, in my same dark little funky little living room, dining room combo, trying to get my hair thing on. Um, and I thank everyone for watching my earlier videos. I really so appreciate the comments. And for those who wanted to see an Ayurvedic formulation, you got it. Anything else you want me to do, just leave it in the comments below. Like, subscribe, hate or love me, whatever you want to do. Um, give me some positive criticism and some love because this is what it's about, trying to share the knowledge and pass it on. And if you try this and it works, get back to me in the comments. Let me know if it worked for you and even what you've tweaked it to be. Um, you can have oils for different purposes. I'm learning that as I begin this journey. Um, and I'll give a list, I think, while I list the suppliers of some of the oils and things that I used, I will also list some of the girls that I've been watching and lurking in the background, seeing what they're doing, because I really love the energy. I love the positivity. And again, just thank you all for taking time to look at my work. Good night. I'll see you in a bit, in about three weeks, maybe a month, once this oil settles and gets itself going. Thanks a lot. Bye.